Hi and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Elena Russo. Sometimes when you live in or near a big city, somehow you forget to relish some of its natural assets. Today's guest invites everybody from residents to visitors to show their pride in America's capital city. Please welcome Pat Wheeler, the Director of Marketing for Cultural Tourism DC. Pat, thanks for coming in today. Thank you very much. Cultural Tourism DC, you guys run the gamut from showing visitors and residents everything our city has to offer. Well, that's true. We want to tell we want to celebrate the real Washington DC. We know when visitors come they usually go to the mall and that's great. We're glad they go to the mall, but we want them to see the rest of DC. DC has dozens of neighborhood that feature their own type of culture. There's the food, there's the music, there's just the whole flavor of the rest of Washington DC. And it's so rich in its heritage. It really is rich in history. History. Um, not only is there the federal history, but it's the, the history of the city. Um, and that's what we try to tell people for our heritage trails. We actually have 10 heritage trails, and we're going to get ready to uh, launch our 11th one in November. So when you say heritage trails, what, what kinds of things do we see on these trails? Well, we've, we learn a little bit about the history of a neighborhood, for example, uh, the U Street Heritage Trail, which is one of our more popular ones. You hear about uh, how the, you hear about Black Broadway, and that's where Duke Ellington played, and Pearl Bailey. And you even hear about more recent history, such as Ben's Chili Bowl, which, as we know, is very, very po popular. Uh, but not only do you hear about the famous people, but you hear about the residents who lived and worked along in the U Street area. So it really gives you a flavor of U Street. In fact, we now have an audio tour of U Street. So if you go to our website, you can download the audio tour, and there's a also a guidebook. Now, our 11th Heritage Trail, uh, which is going to be about Tinley Town, that has a very rich history uh, in itself. For example, do you know where Kermit the Frog got his start? I have no idea. Well, Kermit, who is quite popular now, actually started right here in Washington, D.C., at a studio up on Nebraska Avenue. Can I say which one? Sure. Okay, WRC TV. Jim, first, Jim Henson and his wife's first. TV break came at WRC, and that's where they got uh, Kermit started, and Kermit and his Muppets friends started. So as people walk the Tinley Town Heritage Trail, there'll be signs where they can stop and read about the history of Washington, of, of that neighborhood. It's funny because Tinley Town is named after Tinley Tavern, and it's actually predated Washington, D.C., so it's actually an older city, no longer a city, than Washington, D.C. was. Now, this particular trail is actually, this Heritage Trail is happening on a Saturday in November. Right, Saturday, November 13th. Uh, at 1 o'clock, we're going to kick it off with uh, uh, Mary Che, who's the councilwoman from Ward 3. She'll be there uh, helping us to launch the trail, as well as a lot of other local, famous local celebrities and people of note. But then we have a lot of things going on in that neighborhood. Uh, it's going to be at Fort, uh, Fort Reno Park. And in fact, Fort Reno was one of the series of forts that defended D.C. during the Civil War. Uh, so you can hear a lot of history, but you have a lot of new and old history. Uh, some of the stops along the way will be where um, the oldest brick masons used to live and work. A lot of the churches and historical buildings, uh, the, the people who did that lived in Tinley Town, a whole neighborhood full of them. Some of the older homes in Tinley Town and their history will be there. But there'll be a several open houses. The, uh, the uh, fire station on Wisconsin Avenue is going to have an open house, and you can tour that open house. The Cats and Art Center at American University will have a big open house there on the Heritage Trail, as well as we're really happy that Whole Foods was going to say, come on in while you're walking this trail, because it might be a little bit cold, they're going to be giving away hot apple cider. Oh, wonderful. So we're really excited about the whole day. Is this something you have to register for, or just kind of show up on just the Just show up. It's free. We invited everybody to come. Um, we did our last Heritage Trail last year at Columbia Heights, and that was a lot of fun. We had 400 people attend that, and we had music and dancing and food, and it was a great trail. For example, um, Marriott started on it, near right in Columbia Heights. So it's, it's a great, all the trail celebrations are gr lots of fun. Well, it sounds like a blast. Thank you so much for coming in and telling us all about it. Thank you so much. You've just heard from Pat Wheeler, the Director of Marketing for Cultural Tourism DC. To learn more on what's going on in your community, check out On Demand and click Get Local. For Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Elena Russo.